Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we discussed about how to set up the self-managed environment in your local using Docker, right? So in this video, we are going to run our first application into that local environment, right? Self-managed environment. So we are going to deploy our first application. How to do that? So that is what we are going to cover in this video, okay? So it is depending fully depending on the last video. So please watch my last video if you are not done. Okay. So let's see to create the first project. Okay. So it is very simple. First, what you need to do, you need to go for Spring Initializer, right? So as we are working with the Spring Boots, so just go to Spring Initializer and just create a Maven project as per my, as per my interest. You can go ahead with the whatever it may be. So I'm just going to create a web uh, dependencies and Lombok and I even if you want you can go with the act actuator right so to maintain some something okay so after that okay so you can generate this this will download a var file for you I mean uh, zip file for you okay then extract a zip and import that zip into I, I mean in, in import into the extracted folder import into your Eclipse okay with the help of existing into Maven project and you can you can copy you can copy and paste that folder the unzipped folder root directory here you can click finish okay then it will import similar like this type of project for you okay so and my main class is Kamunda 8 application okay this is the main class after downloading the project earlier what you used to do we will in the Kamunda 7 and all so we used to add the Kamunda dependencies but here we need to add the zb dependencies okay so zb client actually if you see that io Kamunda spring zb starter this is a dependency which we need to include it and the version which i am using 8.0.8 .8, okay so these things you need to add it manually after downloading from the spring initializer okay then the second step what you need to do you need to go for your main class spring boot application class you need to enable two annotations one is enable zb client and another one is enable zb deployment with the bpm1 file location okay so after done these two things now your spring boot application is eligible to deploy into your zb okay okay fine so you are now ready so how you can communicate your CB application with your local host? I mean, so in the last video we discussed, right? So this is the operate URL, right? If you go to my operate URL and task list URL is this one. How we can deploy your code into here? I mean, your VPM1 files into here. Okay. For that, you need to do a small thing. Okay. You need to just up and run this application, but that credentials right so for that i have a application dot properties so basically earlier we are having these credentials this is for our cloud environment which is sas right but local environment for the development purpose we no need of giving all these things because we are running into your local host right so for that what you can do you can simply give the gateway address as well as the plain text as true Okay, this is the two things is record. What is this gateway address? If you just go to your uh, Docker, this is the gateway address 26500. If you see here, you are mentioning the same. So localhost, for that, this is the IP. Then 26500 is the port where your ZB broker is up and running. And you are saying that ZB security is true. You are not going to maintain any security for the ZB. Plain text you are mentioning is it true. Okay. So now you have done all these two things. So now your application is ready to deploy into cloud. Okay. So now let me just go and run my application. Okay. So now my application is up and running. Okay. So now uh, whatever bp1 file this bp1 file i already imported into my commander modeler right 
so now i want to do some changes or whatever it may be for example now if i try to deploy this one so the earlier in the last video we deployed with the help of sas but now we are going to do with the self manage so you need to click here okay keep keep you make make a note of it you have to deploy your current diagram so clicking here and changing to self managed right or we are going uh, as we are going to deploy it in our self managed environment right just click here you can mention the same zb environment here zb cluster environment 26500 right so you can see here so that one you can give and you can provide the authentication as none okay maybe in your application you want to implement certain oauth you can do that otherwise you can go with the none okay now i can just click uh, click the deploy diagram see process definition is deployed right so now let me go to your my operate okay just refreshing here just opening this where is my process definition version fourth version see latest version i am picking so your user task and test task maybe if you want to add one more task maybe tomorrow your use cases want to add one more task you can just add it user task right and you can add task okay and you can end up with this now after done this you can simply click here you are mentioning your self managed and you are just deploy it here now you should get one more version after refreshing this you can see that see okay your add task also coming now how to start your process you know that already so you can see another button start your current diagram okay so just clicking on start so after that when you go to your task list and see here the task should come okay i just ref going to refresh this page okay you can see here right the task is coming here user task so if you now refresh this page you can see here one task is under user task now let me just claim this and complete this next what is the task should come test task right let me just refresh this page okay without refreshing itself is came test task now if i go and refresh here so it is moved the control is moved to test task now i can even claim this and complete this now it should come to add task the add task should come here yeah it was came if i just refresh this page this should go to add task okay even now i can claim this and even i can complete this okay so it is very simple right so now if you want to do some changes you can do it and you can simply deploy it so automatically it will pick into your cloud environment i mean your self managed cloud and cloud and docker image so docker image is uh, getting and it is publishing into your cloud correct so because whatever you are deploying here you are deploying into your docker image only right so automatically that is publishing into here right so hope now the task was completed so hope you understood how to set up your project how to set up your environment how to create your project and how to work on the project right so hope you understood with the sas as well as the self managed environment creation right so please feel free to add your comments if you have any queries anything related to your kamunda 8 feel free to add it maybe if something if i am missing please provide your comments i can correct it okay thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye have a nice day